Hey everyone, and welcome to this tutorial. Uh, in this tutorial, we're going to be talking about reportable categories and how to configure them uh, in the new uh, Aspire spreadsheet. So before we get going, uh, I just want to point out here uh, on the configuration page, I do have uh, just a handful of categories that I've defined. Um, and then I've also added in some sample transactions um, so that we have some data here on the reports tab, uh, category reports tab. Um, so reportable categories um, is a new feature uh, and the purpose for it uh, is that uh, in the category reports page, uh, if you have a lot of categories, um, there are some things that you may not want to actually see in the, in the reports page. Um, these may be things like uh, bills that are the same every single month um, or just other really consistent things that you're not really um, interested in seeing here. Um, so that might include, like here's an example uh, for mortgage and rent, um, you know, it's the same every single month. And it kind of it kind of skews the rest of the chart um, so that the other bit of the data is not uh, not as easily seen. Um, so other examples of consistent bills every month uh, might also be like your internet bill um, or car insurance. So uh, I'm going to show you now how to configure these um, to not appear uh, in the category reports tab. Uh, so I'm going to go back to configuration uh, and new uh, in Aspire is the ability uh, to set up a non-reportable category. Uh, and to do that, I'm going to go into the drop down here and I'm going to pick this new symbol uh, here that represents uh, kind of like an X uh, and it represents a non-reportable category. So I'm going to pick that uh, for mortgage and rent uh, and then I'm going to also pick it for internet bill and also car insurance. So I've got several reportable categories here with the, the hollowed out uh, diamond shape. And then I've got a couple of uh, categories that are non-reportable, um, things that I'm not really interested in seeing uh, in the reports page. So I'm gonna go back over uh, and you can see that the list has been thinned out just a little bit. Uh, we no longer see mortgage and rent. Uh, we no longer see car insurance and we no longer see, um, I can't remember what the other one was, but we no longer see that either. Um, so that should uh, should help you out a lot just in uh, seeing the things in reports that you actually care to see. Um, and this change also is, uh, is uh, effective on the trend reports page. Um, so as an example, if I wanted to see mortgage and rent, um, it's no longer in the dropdown because it's not a reportable category. So that's it for reportable categories. Uh, I hope that you found this useful and until next time.